Retrospect includes the ability to create a bootable recovery disk that you can use in the event of a system crash or if you need to do a complete restore of your operating system. To create a bootable recovery disk, go to the left side of Retrospect and go to Backup, and then select Disaster Recovery, and you'll enter the Plan for Disaster Recovery wizard. The first step is to go ahead and click on Next, and then you'll need to download the Microsoft Windows ADK image. To download this, click on the Download button, And then you'll be taken to a Microsoft website where you can download the assessment and deployment kit for Windows 8. This recovery image that you're going to create will work with all versions of Windows, even though you're specifically downloading an installer for Windows 8. I'm going to save this image to my desktop. And then it's going to download a setup file to the location you selected. So if I go to that location, I'll have a setup wizard. I click on run. And then it will ask me what path I'd like to use for the installation. Use the default path and then click next. Next, agree to the license agreement, and then just go ahead and click on install. The installation will run, and then once that's completed, you can return to Retrospect. After the Windows ADK has been installed, click Close and then return to Retrospect. Cancel the Disaster Recovery Wizard, and then go ahead and click on the Disaster Recovery Wizard again. Once inside the Disaster Recovery Wizard, go ahead and click on Next, and then you can select either 32-bit or 64-bit. When you select 64-bit, you can click on Next, and then you can select either create a bootable flash disk or create a bootable disk image or ISO image for burning onto a CD or DVD. In this example, we're going to go ahead and select a flash disk. So we click on the drop down menu and we choose the drive letter for our flash disk. Once we select the drive letter for our flash media, go ahead and click on next. And then the disaster recovery wizard will create a bootable disk image onto your flash media. This media can then be used for the restore of either a crashed computer or a computer that needs a full system restore. You can use this on either a backup server or on a client computer. If you decide to use a bootable USB flash disk, you need to make sure that your Windows computer supports booting from USB devices. Once the disaster recovery wizard is done, you can minimize retrospect and under my computer you'll see that your flash disk has been renamed to WinPE. This is now your bootable flash disk that you can use on any 64-bit system that supports booting from a USB device. Once you boot from that disk, you'll be taken into the disaster recovery wizard where you can select either a local restore or a restore from the Retrospect client.